Hey everyone, it's your girl Simranjit Kormann here and if you don't know about me, I am a trainee solicitor for a UK top 20 law firm and I make content for lawyers. I make content about careers, productivity and also random videos along the way and this is one of those random videos. So today I'm going to be reacting to tweets that I'd made in the past. I started my Twitter account in November 2017 and I found tweets so funny back in the day they were absolutely hilarious. They're still hilarious now, but I think Twitter has changed. And it leads into my reasoning as to why I basically stopped tweeting for most of last year, if I'm honest with you. Because I feel like, especially in brown Twitter and sick Twitter, it's just become so just everyone just wants to fight all the time over the most randomest things and all the tweets that you have get misinterpreted and you end up in some sort of drama or just witnessing some sort of drama that then takes away some energy from you as well. So that's why I basically stopped tweeting. But recently I looked back at my old tweets and I thought some of these are pretty funny. So I thought I'd share them. Let's jump straight into it. So the first tweet, I'm looking that way as well, by the way, because my laptop's over there with all the tweets on it. And the first tweet is being the eldest daughter in a brown household means you're responsible for writing in every birthday slash wedding card for family event. Now, literally comment if you can relate to this because I've had to do this all the time. I am the one writing in every card. There was even one time where even recently my mum said to me, can you write in this Christmas card? And that Christmas card was for me. And I said to her, why am I writing a card for myself? This is next one, God, this is so random. Like these tweets are so random just looking back. The next one is, it can't only be me who gets low key gassed when the Babaji gives you a shout out during the Ardas. So of course, you know, your family have held a Sukhumi Sai Baat or an Akhan Baat and they've donated to the Gurdwara so they're able to host this for you for good luck for your family or to celebrate a birthday or an event. And then they give you that shout out in Ardas and you've got to kind of like, obviously be serious because Ardas is going on, but there is a little smile on your face. Like I've always had those little slides smiles I'm like yeah that was my name in the shout out right there you feel famous the Gen Z urge to put an exclamation mark in every email you send at work honestly I've realized recently actually that I'm Gen Z so I think if like, I'm born in 97 so that makes me a Gen Z which is crazy to me the reason why I do it is I just don't want my emails to look like I'm being mean rather than saying I hope you're well I'm like I hope you're well you know it just sounds so much happier you know so that's why I do it oh my god Oh, I remember the situation. So the next one is when someone beefed me at Punjabi school. So Punjabi school is almost like Sunday school. So you go every Sunday, you learn more about the Sikh religion and you learn more about the Punjabi language as well. And basically in this tweet, I'm saying someone beefed me for eating prawn cocktail crisps. And I remember the situation so clearly. He was like, what are you doing? Like, this is so bad. You're eating meat in a gurdwara. And I was like, no, I'm not. It's flavoring. Make it make sense, honestly. <laughs> that some of my best memories are from Punjabi school though and that place was just so funny it was just genuine crackhead behavior what went down in that school the guy next to me on the train just googled why am I tired all the time literally this happened so I'm one of those people that does look at people's phones I'm just curious I'm a nosy I'm a nosy girl I like looking at people's phones just wondering you know forming a piece of like what their life is like and I've seen some interesting things that this is one of them so yeah bro tell me why am I so tired all the time I had a dream last night that my Tamagotchi started working again now I've woken up with the same heartbreak I experienced years ago yeah my Tamagotchi used to be this yellow one with patterns all around it and it just didn't wake up one day but you know what I remember the main thing I remember about Tamagotchi is when you'd go to sleep and you'd wake up and your Tamagotchi had just taken a dump everywhere and you're just there like I'm not a good parent. I'd feel so guilty about that. <laughs> if you don't know about 6789821212, then she's too young for you, bro. It's true. Honestly, if any of my viewers are like, what does, what is that? You need to Google it because it's one of the most iconic songs of all time. Brown boys shoot their shot on LinkedIn by viewing your profile regularly. So you keep getting notifs that they viewed it. It's true. There was one person who would constantly click to view on my profile and I'd see it all the time. Ladies, let me know if this happened to you as well because it was a bit like, well, what are you doing? There's nothing that's happened since the last time. I've not had a new job since you last clicked on my profile an hour ago, so why are you still here? Trying to finesse a career as a solicitor has actually consumed me. There's nothing in this world I've wanted more than this. Now this one actually hit home because now I'm on my training contract. I'm, I'm now a solicitor, well, I'm going to be a solicitor, fingers crossed if I don't do anything bad, but it's, cra it's crazy to me that like looking back, it's like, this is something that 
it's, it's true it took over my whole life training contract applications I would work then go home like and then just do my applications and that's what my life was I remember turning down social events and really not doing anything else in that period other than just applying for a training contract which is unhealthy I know but it's it's exactly what I did um, and I wouldn't recommend it either because it like I'm saying in this tweet it's actually consumed me. Santan tweeted it's only like 1am where the hell is Twitter and I replied we have nine to five jobs Santan please. <laughs> I just find it funny that I'm like Santan as if he's my boy like as if Dave just randomly knows who I am I'm like Santan please we have nine to fives. Does anyone lose all composure when the optician goes right up in your eye to analyze your eyes? I was biting the inside of my mouth to try and keep a straight face. I still do this so ironically I'm now married to an optician which is just crazy but when they go right up to your eye I don't think they do that anymore. I'm gonna ask Taryn whether they still do that but when they go right up to your eye it's just like what do I do with myself? It's so awkward, I hate it. If I'm having my first dance with my future husband at our wedding and he starts lip syncing the words, I'm actually gonna cancel the wedding. I can't be marrying a moist ute. Now this is so funny because the week or so, or two weeks before the wedding, I actually WhatsApp Taryn and I told him that we are not doing this. We are not singing to each other during the first dance. I find it moist. Obviously some couples do it and it looks great and it's romantic and it's very cute, but no, it's not for me. Not for me, not doing it. And we didn't do it, so that was fantastic. We actually talked during our first dance. We were, we'd only practiced our first dance once. So we were going through, we were talking during the first dance and we were like, do we spin here? Yeah, we spin here, we spin here. Yeah, we're good, we're good. And then we were just literally just like talking each other through the, what steps we were going to do while we were doing our first dance. You ever get so bored that you start pre and WhatsApp profile pics? I still do this. So those moments where you have got really bad internet on the train or you've just literally got nothing to do. And I feel like looking at people's WhatsApp pictures is such a great way of looking at where they are at their life right now. It's like the new form of Facebook where you see a snapshot of someone's life like what's important to them have they got a new girl have they got a new guy have they got a kid are they pregnant did they get married did they attend a wedding so many possibilities you can find out so much from one whatsapp profile picture it's mad seeing my rutis blow up on the dava gassed me more than any mcm ever could well girl you know what i need those rutti skills back i ain't made rutti in a hot minute and i'll do anything to see my rutti blow on the dava right now chasing your goals and trying to become something is such a lonely process and you know what to an extent i agree with that i felt like starting something and the training contract process i found very very lonely but now i've realized that forming a community is one of the main ways in which I am able to chase my goals because I meet people who challenge my ideas, who I learn new things from, who I'm inspired by. So for me, I don't think that's necessarily true for me now because I found a new way of chasing my goals that involves still being social, still being able to meet new people and not having to feel like you're doing this by yourself. The fact that I know so many people who also make YouTube videos now about careers, about any form of content, I know other content creators, I doesn't feel lonely to me anymore. So I'm glad that this tweet is no longer applicable to my life. When Skepta said relationship goals got everyone rushing, brown Twitter needed to feel that. So there was a moment I feel like on brown Twitter, this might still be the case, but I'm rarely on Twitter, so I don't really know, but I felt like brown Twitter just used to move mad back in the day. I think it's TikTok now, so like the brown TikTok is like where it's at. But yeah, back in the day, I used to be like, so are you lot, I'm moving a bit too mad. If any of you lot see me whipped over someone, I give you complete permission to slap some common sense back into me. Well, <laughs> I think more than a thousand people of you have seen me whipped over someone because I've literally posted my, my, my wedding vlog and I've posted my honeymoon vlog and I've posted my Q&A with my husband and in all three of those I look pretty whipped over him so please don't slap any common sense into me. I'm gonna end up getting a really really red face and it's not from blushing either. Alexa, give my face some structure. There's nothing wrong with my facial structure. I'm really happy with it. God, so red. Fast replies from the wrong person is so jarring. You know what? You feel like you're being held hostage. It's true. You just feel like you can't leave the conversation because you're just, you don't want to be that mean person, but it's like, just stop, just stop it. Do you ever deep how much hair dye Jazzy B must go through in a year? <laughs> That is so random. How the hell did I... Why was I thinking about Jazzy B's multiple hairstyles? But it's true. I wonder how much hair dye he does go through in a year. How much hair gel he goes through in a year. All in all, how many hair products does he go through in a year? Because he's had some really crazy styles back in the day. I think he still does. I don't know how many Jill Horgia, Saul Horgias I've got left in me. You know what? <laughs> 
<laughs> so what what was I going through in 2019? I feel like I was going through a lot. You know what? It must have been rejections, constant rejections. Johogya sohogya basically means like what happened is meant to be is meant to be. Like what happened was meant to happen. So I was basically saying, I don't know how many of those I've got left in me. And I was probably going for a training contract rejection. I'm not going to lie. If my husband ever acts up, just know I'm making grille for dinner. Well, go. You know what? I would do that if I knew how to make it. I don't know how to make grille. But you know what, Taryn, if you are ever acting up, grille for dinner. I need to ask him whether he likes that though. Because if he does like grille for dinner, then like, it defeats the whole purpose of me being mad at him. And like trying to make him some dinner that he doesn't like. And also, by the way, why would I be making him dinner? We actually cook together, so like, I'd be making us both make grille. It'd be a better revenge, actually, to only get grille and be like, you're making that. When Drake said, Jinemire de Lutia OVO, I felt that this is just so sad, Simran. Like, this is like one of those dad jokes. It's quite clever, though, but OVO, come on. I used to be a massive Drake fan, not as much anymore, but I think that's why I came up with this tweet. And I feel like it should deserve more likes than that. That's actually pretty clever. It's quite witty. I don't know why it hasn't. Sometimes I pretend my retainers are grills. <sighs> Imagine like me just walking around with my like clear retainers that make me look like such a noob. And I'm just like, yeah, boy, I got my grills on. Like, no. What are you doing, Simran? Crept and Conan do the best music for arse workouts. Ladies, you heard it here first. I don't even listen. Well, Crept and Conan, I don't think they've made a song in a while. So I've not actually done an ass workout listening to them, but I might have to. I might have to all over again. Brown culture is getting your kids to type all your text messages for you as you dictate. This is the same as the wedding cards one, similar. Like you're writing their cards, Christmas cards, birthday cards, whatever. And then also you're writing the text messages for them too. Tell me if this is the case for you because I'm literally doing it all the time. This is like my first tweet that ever, ever blew up. Once Suki receives Duki. And it was so, like it just went, like it was the first tweet that I had. I think it was my first ever taste of something that I'd produced going viral. And I was like, this is insane. I love it. And to this day, I'm still seeing TikToks, for example, where people have posted that kind of caption. And I'm like, yeah, you know where that came from? It came from me. I created that. It was a movement. Oh, it was revolutionary. I'm just so proud of myself. The UN said that's enough activism for one day. Honestly, you know what? That's so funny. Even the person who retweeted that I love her lack of energy, give us nothing. You know what? All abusers must stop. Like, oh, there's a lot more to that. So I really hope you enjoyed this random video that I've made. Hopefully you resonated with some of the tweets. Hopefully you found some of them funny because I certainly did when I posted them at the time. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video.